say God bless to Lewis. These are two Goliaths. It's Goliath versus Goliath. No slingshots, just big boulders being thrown by both of them. And for what it's worth, although this doesn't seem to interest the public, these are two good men. Early thunder from Grant. Lewis tries to fire back. Grant said he would come out aggressively, and he lands a big right hand. Everybody talks about Grant holding his left hand low. Lewis holds his left toe also, low also, and Michael Grant just illustrated it by pounding a right hand through. Lewis is a good right hand puncher, but he needs his guy exchanging the right hands. He shouldn't be overthrowing them right now. Grant is a big guy. You want to be conservative. Now, don't waste any shots. Grant put in a left hand to the body. He's a better, more effective body puncher than Lewis. is getting the rhythm now of stopping his right hand and you don't want him to get in the rhythm of stopping Stop Grant's now. right Stop hand because down, his honey. confidence get greater and he stands straighter up for his over top right hand. Grant's got to be conservative. Don't throw that right hand unless you know you have an opening. There's already a little blood coming from the mouth of Lewis. I think as a result of the right cross that Grant landed over against the far ropes there. Well you got to have a lot of Vaseline in your mouth when you get in the ring. The first round, not enough lubrication there. You need Vaseline. Lewis lands an uppercut and Grant goes down. Thunder, it's uppercut. That punch landed very high on the head, which is a place that can paralyze a fighter. Second fight in a row in which Grant has been knocked out in the first round. Second time he'll have to work to survive the last minute of round one. Lewis lands a right hand on the top of the head. Trying to fire back. Ropes held him up. Mercanti will count again. Three, Two knockdowns in the round. Four, five, no three knockdown six, rule in a heavyweight seven, title fight. Eight. Lewis has got to be direct. Don't waste your shots with this big guy. He has endurance. is wobbling one punch will finish him can he hold on for another 20 seconds another uppercut lands for lewis that's the punch that did so much damage lewis is still gotta be Whoa! that's it do it that's it that's it do it that's it he's broke his leg don't be i don't think brad will get up from that but well, here it comes he's gonna try history between two such big men this is the first knockdown the right hand on top of the head which disoriented Grant and had him weaving holding on looking to find his balance for the rest of the round and that right hand appeared to finish him how did he get out of it does he have anything left here and now it's Lewis who goes on the attack. Lewis still got to be conservative. He should stick his left jab and start fainting a little bit now. Michael Grant, nothing else he has in doing. Oh, oh. Nice, now, for nice, any nice who clean. still think the fight will go 12 rounds, Grant is now in a deep hole. Break. Step back. His corner told him to use his legs, but I think just being big and using his strength, it took amazing fortitude for Grant to get up from that third knockdown. 
The kind of fortitude he showed in surviving the first round against Galata. But Grant still doesn't have his legs, and Lewis is just teeing off. That is a lot of weight. After you miss, you bump into something like that, you can get pretty tired throwing shots. Lewis has better set it up with his left jab. Well, he's got his legs here for a moment. Don't Wait. waste your punches Wait. on big men. Let's go. George, this is survival here. For Lennox Wait. Lewis, better be conservative. You better throw, know what you're throwing out there. Lennox, Lennox is being careful. He doesn't want to walk into a big right hand coming back. He's walking right into a big puncher. All right, let's go. Step aside, jab it, go to the body, then faint, come back on top. Don't just walk in. Forget about the first round. Start all over again. There he goes. Lewis beginning to pop the jab. And now Grant begins to get his senses back as well. Michael! Break! Stop holding, Mike, now. That's the thing about big guys fighting. There's not a lot of room in the ring for them not to cover up and start grabbing and pinch. Lewis landing the uppercut again, and he punches Grant into submission for the moment with the uppercut. But Michael's still able to stand up. Hold on. Step back, I said Grant. You weather the storm, and the rounds can even get better for you. Lewis missed the uppercut, landed the right hand. But Lewis got a little taste Lennox. of Grant's power Break. that time also. But go that head, Lennox. Big mistake for Lewis not to be a little more uh, right, great. skillful right. here. He needs to be using his jab. And for the moment, Lewis looks punched out as he lands another uppercut and floors Three, Grant for the fourth time. Four, five, six, seven. This eight, time I don't think so. Nine. That's it, my man. That's it. The plan to attack Lennox Lewis just backfired. Big time. Need to be conservative. Let the fight go along. Get some advantages. He didn't do that. The punch with which Lennox Lewis finally bested Evander Holyfield last November was his right uppercut. The punch with which he finished this fight was his right uppercut. People are going to begin to learn you don't give Lewis a chance to throw that punch when it matters. Boy, well, good fight for heavyweights.